The City of Monterey Waterfront is a daily bustle of activity. For over 200 years, Monterey Harbor has been a popular destination for boats, military, fishing, public safety, touring and recreational vessels make their way in and out of our harbor daily. Probably our smallest vessels are 14, 15 feet in length and our largest vessels are slightly over 60 feet in length. They can range from small trailerable boats that people recreate with to small sailboats up to large commercial fishing vessels and sailing vessels alike. We're really blessed with having a, a very diverse boating population and commercial. We have our whale watching businesses that are located here on Monterey that rely on the waterfront for their businesses. The commercial fishing vessels uh, rely on our ability to transport fish into the trucks and containment areas in order to take care of what they're doing as well. And the Monterey Peninsula Yacht Club and all the sailing activities that go on at the same time. We also have kayaking, we also have diving, we also have sailing. So a multitude of recreations that are used in the marina. The City of Monterey's Harbor and Marina Division has the complex task of managing this extensive operation. This includes maintaining safe and efficient navigation through the harbor. With the currents we have here in the southern end of Monterey Bay, we're always challenged with kind of keeping up with Mother Nature. Well, as in the case of most marinas, there's some shoaling or buildup of sand on the bottom and eventually, in, in not too long a period of time, you would have certain vessels, especially deeper draft, those that set deeper in the water, that would be unable to navigate within the marina itself. And uh, we certainly have had that here, and we need to make sure that we're utilizing our marina as best as possible. In order to deepen waterways and improve navigation, a process called dredging must occur. You may have seen our dredging vessel gliding along the marina, or harbor staff laying pipe along the beach. It's an 8-inch floating hydraulic cutter head dredge. So it has a, a ladder on it <coughs> that can bend down and also sweep a little bit. Uh, the dredge is secured in place and moved by our boat from time to time to get to new locations. But then that ladder, which is like a giant vacuum end, <coughs> goes down and the cutter head fluidizes the sand slightly. It's slowly moving to just suspend the sand and then the pumps suck it up and we push it through the eight-inch pipeline down the beach. And that black pipe that you see, people see on the beach, that eight-inch pipe, that is our dredge, our dredge pipe. And we're taking out about 10,000 cubic yards of sand each year. And through a pipeline, through, <coughs> it gets pumped down the beach. And our preferred location now is in front of uh, some condominiums that are down the beach about three-eighths of a mile. And it's a perfect blend because it, that's the beach nourishment part of it. Those condominiums um, really, really want the beach uh, to be built up there. It's been eroding. And so they're very happy with having a bigger beach in front, in front of, their, of their properties. The good thing is, is the material um, that we get is really, really clean. And we have the opportunity to build the beach up for the summer tourism and uh, for the citizens of Monterey at the same time. Our homeowners became really galvanized four years ago. There was a really bad storm at high tide and we lost four feet of dunes in one afternoon. And uh, the water was lapping right up in front of, of the complex, in fact, into some of the backyards of some of our homeowners. You know, if, if we hadn't been able to pull off this beach nourishment thing, uh, the alternatives would have been a seawall which certainly wouldn't be a good thing as we've learned from watching what happened down the beach or to abandon the property. So uh, losing this complex would be uh, a great uh, economic hit for certainly all of us. I, I've been the point man for our association and I've been working with Steve and Brian and, and Ron and all of the guys and the overwhelming uh, attitude on the part of everybody with the city has been, let's do it right, let's not do it the easy way. So uh, I've been extremely uh, thankful to all of them for, you know, for taking the time to do, take the extra steps and, and make sure this works right. So this project not only benefits the boaters of Monterey, but also its citizens and visitors with a beach restoration. Sand from the marina was tested for contaminants by the Environmental Protection Agency. 
Because we have a certified green marina here, our sand was deemed very clean and suitable for beach replenishment. And the sand here has accumulated over literally 50 years, and we've never had a thorough dredging project in all that time. We've done some spot dredging, but nothing like we're doing now. We've received a 10-year permit to do 10 phases of dredging, and so this project will unfold <coughs> over the next uh, now nine years, uh, typically done in the wintertime between late November and uh, about the middle of March. And we do that to decrease the effects on all of our users, including beachgoers. Taking on a project like this requires many skills. Thankfully, your Harbor and Marina Division employs many types of workers with diverse skills and experience. The dredging uh, requires a lot of different skill sets in and of themselves. So, uh, as with any heavy equipment, the operators have to be used to operating heavy equipment. On the beach, we have to have a bulldozer operator that enables to create a berm and create an area where we can decant the water from the sand and retain the sand on the beach. So a bulldozer operator, heavy equipment operator there. Um, we have ourselves commercial divers um, and our team at the same time for connecting and disconnecting the pipe that runs down 340 feet down the beach this year. So heavy equipment operators, commercial diving, uh, boat captains, bulldozer operators, and uh, comfort with uh, operating in any kind of environment at the same time. I was fortunate to have all my staff uh, already existing two highly skilled uh, mechanics trained in diesel repairs and what have you. So they were naturally inclined to be able to figure out the dredge. And so we went through the training and became certified in how to use the dredge. And so overall, doing it this way, as opposed to going to contract, is gonna save the city probably well over $2 million over the life of the, of the project, so. On behalf of the homeowners, uh, we'd like to thank the city, we'd like to thank the harbor master, we'd like to thank his whole team. And uh, our homeowners are just absolutely thrilled 